Hi there, my name is Jennifer and today I'll be telling you about open banking. Stick around. My name is Gafa Agbaje. So I think open banking, or I understand open banking to be a form of banking that gives access to financial access to financial data to fintech companies. And they use this data for innovations. And it also helps people to, to transact easily online. I am a blessing of Koli, and what I understand by open banking is that it's a sharing of financial information digitally in a secured way under conditions that the consumer approves. So you've probably heard about open banking. It's a financial services and fintech concept that allows banks to open up their APIs to share financial data with customers' consent to other third-party financial services, which will now allow other businesses connect to this information and use this data for more actionable and personalized services. That's a mouthful, but I'll break it all down in this video. So today, when you think about your bank, the first thing that comes to mind is your money. While that is really important, another really valuable thing you have in the bank is your financial data. If you've had a bank account for say 10 years, that's 10 years going on statements, transactions, and a lot of information that your bank has access to, but just sits in the bank and doesn't provide extra value to you. Open banking allows that financial data to be used by you with your consent to provide you with extra value. Now how? Banks create APIs that allow financial services and third-party fintechs like Mono to access these financial data with your consent. So if you're able to share your financial data with a third party like Mono, Mono is able to also create our own APIs that allow businesses connect. And when they're able to access your data with your consent, they can offer you more personalized services. You're probably wondering what APIs are and how you can give consent for your data to be shared. These are very important aspects of open banking and I'll explain them shortly. Now, what are APIs? APIs are services that allow two applications to interact. Think about how you get weather information on your phone. Um, your phone doesn't particularly sit outside collecting information about when the sun rises and sets or when it's about to rain or when it's going to be sunny. What happens is that your phone provider actually connects the APIs of weather stations that now give them this information so you're able to tell what the weather will be on Friday just by looking at your screen. This is a lot like how APIs work between banks, third-party fintech providers and also businesses that plug to these APIs. The APIs allow banks to expose this data securely to third-party fintech providers like Mono. We're also able to create our APIs and allow businesses to connect to them securely and access the information from your bank account that is shared with your consent. So how do you give consent? When an API is interacted with, on the Mono end, a business creates a request for a user to share their financial data. Since Mono is plugged to a bank's API, we receive the information and you're given the opportunity to consent if you would like to share your financial data with that business and then Mono can take on your financial data from the bank and pass it on securely to the business so that they can process whatever service they need to process for you. Open banking and the secure exposure of your financial data with businesses makes it possible for businesses to directly view exactly how much you spend and other types of information from your bank account. So a lending service is able to properly evaluate that you actually spend 600,000 Naira. They're able to evaluate what your income is and also find out if you're credit worthy. So you will get an amount that is exactly right that fits your income and fits your lifestyle and also works for your business. So you're not offered a testing amount, you're offered an amount that actually works for you and carries out whatever purpose you need it for. So I've told you about one way that open banking can be applied today, and that's in lending and borrowing. But I'll tell you about others. With access to financial data and payments, open banking can be applicable in other areas such as account aggregation, allowing you to link multiple accounts and see them all in one place, understand your finances better, personal finance management and budgeting, as well as asset advisory and debt financing. So let's talk benefits of open banking. 
before now it was probably difficult for a business to access customer information in minutes and also with their users consent but open banking makes that very possible today it also makes it possible with simple to use api integrations that developers on your team could help you integrate other things that open banking helps businesses to do is understand their customer base better understand each customer and create personalized product offerings for them it also helps you to evaluate the services that you provide your customers and just how impactful it is for them in their day-to-day -day lives. Now, I'll tell you the benefits of open banking for you as an individual user. As an individual user, open banking really affords you two highly important benefits. The first is control. This gives you control over your financial data. You get to decide when and with whom you share your financial data with. You also get to decide if you want to revoke access to that data. But at the core of it, the important thing is that you remain in control of your financial data. It's security and you get to give consent to whom you want to. Apart from giving you control over your data, open banking really makes it possible for you to access a lot of innovative financial services. With access to your financial data, businesses are able to understand you better as a user and offer you more personalized tailored and innovative services that are truly impactful for your daily life. So today I've told you about open banking, how it's applied, how it benefits you as a business and as a user. I hope you've learned a thing or two and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!